Good morning, dear students. Here is MBS Mini Approach School, and our lesson today for Grade Nine, New Hello, Unit Sixteen, and we will study grammar, which is past perfect tense. But before we start past perfect, we have to remember something which is very important, which is past simple tense. Past simple tense. So here we have some examples for the past simple. Like, we went to school yesterday. We went to school yesterday. I did my homework two hours ago. I did my homework two hours ago. They slept late last night. They slept late last night. So here, I want you to mention the verbs which written in red color. They are all in past simple form, and we call this form the second form of the verb. The second form of the verb. So here, as you can notice, that we use past simple tense to express an action that happened and finished in the past. We use the past simple tense to express an action that happened and finished in the past. So here, we use the second form of the verb, as I told you, if you checked the verbs written in red, like went, did, and slept. This is the second form of the verb. This is the second form of the verb. Just to refresh our minds, we have to remember what is the second form of the verb. We have two kinds of verbs. We have regular verbs and Irregular verbs. Regular verbs and irregular verbs. For the regular verbs, how can we get the second form? We can add ed, ied, or d. Quickly, let's check together. Here, play. The past form is played. We add ed, and this is the general case. And here, study, studied. We omit y and use IED to get the second form of the verb or the past form of the verb. Sir, excuse me, I have a question. Yes, I can listen to you. What's your question? Here, the last letter is Y, and here the last letter is Y. What's the difference? Why here I add ED, and why here I omit Y and add IED? Very good question, and now I will tell you the reason. Here we add ED because there is a vowel. There is a vowel before Y. So I add ED, the regular case or the general case. And here, before the Y, we have a consonant. We have a consonant. So we omit Y and add IED. Can one Anyone of you tell me what are the five vowels that we have in English? Hey, yes. A, E, I, O, U. A, E, I, O, U. So, any one of these vowels, if I find it in the verb, and this verb is regular, is regular. So, we add only ED and we keep the Y as it is without removing or omitting this one like this one here this is a consonant before Y like study okay and this studied and the second kind of verbs that we have irregular verbs irregular verbs and for irregular verbs we change the form of the verb we completely change the form of the verb just like see so do or does it will be did and there are many other irregular verbs just we get an example for these verbs okay and now let's move to the past perfect tense the past perfect tense so i want you to look at these examples we had gone to school we had gone to school i had done my homework. I had done my homework. They had slept. 
late. They had slept late. So, just think of these sentences. What do they express? Of course, they express something happened in the past. They express something happened in the past. So, until now, there is no difference between the past perfect tense and the past simple tense. So, here, because there is no difference, we can use the past perfect tense to express actions happened and finished in the past as well. That's a great. So here, can you see the form of the verb which is written in red as well? Had gone, had done, had slept. So here, for the form of the past perfect tense, we use had together with the past participle form of the verb together with the past participle form of the verb so what is the past participle form it's the third form really what's the third form oh the third form for regular verbs it will be the same as the past form as the second form for irregular verbs we change the form of the verb so here we have to know more about irregular verbs and we have to read more irregular verbs and know about them to check what is the past participle form of each irregular verb because we change the form of these verbs we change the form of these verbs so now let's move to the formation of the past perfect tense we start our sentence with the subject and then we use had and the past participle for of the verb and the past participle form of the verb so now we have an important question so if this one gives us the same use as the past simple tense so what's the difference why do we have past simple and past perfect a very important question and you have to know the reason why we have two different tenses to express the same use so here we will start talking about the difference between past perfect and past simple past perfect and past simple look at these examples look at these examples first I did my homework second I slept so how many actions did I do in the past now is it only one action or just two actions uh, we have two actions here I have already two actions okay which one happened first which one happened first is it that you did your homework or you slept no first I did my homework it's very clear okay and what else second I slept so here when I use the past perfect for this sentence together with the past simple I have to mention the first action using the past perfect tense I have to mention the first action using the past perfect tense and the second action using the past simple tense the second action using the past simple tense like this one I had done my homework then I slept it's very clear here so when you are talking to someone and you want to tell him something happened in the past and you are talking about two different actions two different actions and you want to tell him that one of those actions happened before the other one one of those action actions happen before the other one so here use the past perfect together with the first action as you can see here this first I did my homework so I had done my homework then I slept so in a very clear way the one who you are talking to will understand that you did your homework first and then you slept look at the second example he felt tired because sorry I felt tired because I played football so here of course you know that because 
is used to express the reason. So here, of course you played first, of course you played first, then you felt tired because the result cannot happen before the reason. You must have the reason first and then the result. So here you can find that the first action is I played football. The second action, I felt tired. So here, if I want to use the past perfect in this sentence, I will say, I had played football. Because this is the first action. I had played football. So, I felt tired. I had played football. So, I felt tired. As you can see here, we can use past perfect and past simple together to express two actions happened in the past and we want to mention that one action happened before the other one that one action happened before the other one so when we are talking about the first action we use the past perfect and when we are talking about the second action we use the past simple as you can see in these examples so here you can find it very clear that the difference between past perfect and past simple when I talk about two actions happened in the past and I want to mention that one action happened before the other one so here the first action I use the past perfect and then the second action we use the past simple tense so here we have two linkers two linking words two joining words after and before after and before are they important for our lesson today of course they are very important in our lesson today and i want you to check the following examples and tell me the difference this is the first example after we had finished our homework we watch tv after we had finished our homework we watch tv very good so here who can tell me the first action is it finishing your homework or watching tv yeah yes it's finishing your homework excellent great so here when we use after when we use after we have to use the first action so we use after then we use the first action which is past perfect after we had finished our homework we watch it tv after we had finished homework we watch it tv and here look at this one before we watch it tv we had finished our homework before we watch it tv we had finished homework yes very good that's great here we can use before when we are talking about the second action when we mention the second action so here before we watch it tv i use the past simple because this is the second action we had finished our homework we had finished our homework that's great so here as you can see I use after and before to join two sentences or to talk about two actions happened in the past happened in the past so here when I use after I use the first action I use the first action so that I use after together with had and the past participle form of the verb and the second sentence I use the past simple form of the verb I use the past simple form of the verb and here when we use before we use the second action after before we use the second action which is past simple which is past simple and then we use the first action which is have together with the past participle form of the verb so can we use them only at the beginning of the sentence or in the middle no it's okay we can use them in the middle 
So here, for this sentence, I can tell you, we watch TV after we had finished our homework. We watch TV after we had finished our homework. And this one, we can say, we had finished our homework before we watch TV. We had finished our homework before we watch TV. And now let's move to get some kinds of exercise about this one. Rewrite the following sentences using the words in brackets to give the same meaning. So you have to keep the same meaning. And as I told you before, and I will always tell you that you have to keep the same meaning. If your answer doesn't give the same meaning, will your sentence be correct? No, your sentence will not be correct. So here, let's check the first one. The farmer had found the golden egg before he sold it in the market. The farmer had found the golden egg before he sold it in the market. So here, if I ask you to tell me what are the actions that happened? What are the actions that happened here? Yes, the farmer found the golden egg and the farmer sold it in the market. So let's take together which action happened before the other one. So here, I can find it very clear because when we use before, we use the second action in the sentence that have that has before. So here the second action is that he sold the egg and the first action he found it. So here I want you to use after. So when I use after, what can I use? Can I use the first action or the second action? When you use after, use the first action directly. So after the farmer had found the golden egg, he sold it in the market. As you can see here, it's very clear. After the farmer had found the golden egg, he sold it in the market. Let's check the second sentence. After our teacher had taught in different schools, she came to our school. Use before. After our teacher had taught in different schools, she came to our school. Use before. So here I will replace after and use before. Very good. Can I keep both sentences as they are? No. Be careful. When you use before, use the second action together with this word. So here, start with before. Which is the second action? Is it teaching in different schools or coming to our school. No, the second action was coming to our school. And here, both actions are very clear. So here, before our teacher came to our school, she had taught in different schools. Before our teacher came to our school, she had taught in different schools. Be careful of the next. Be careful of this sentence. Oh, my son got high marks. I bought him a bike. I don't have any linker here. And he asks me to use after or to start the sentence using after. So here I have to think carefully which is the first action and which is the second action. So you have to read the sentence very carefully. Very carefully. Read it carefully. Read it carefully. And check both actions and start to think which action happened first which action happened first did your son get high marks first or did you buy him a bike first of course as a gift i bought him the bike after he got the high marks very good so here what's the first action that my son got high marks this is the first action and what's the second action? I bought him a bike. I bought him a bike. So here, when I use after, what comes next? Eh, what comes after this word? Oh, when we use after, we 
Who's the past the perfect tense, the first action. So here I have to change the form of this verb to the past perfect. So after my son had got, after my son had got high marks, I bought him a bike. After my son had got high marks, I bought him a bike. So here the sentence to make it in a correct way, to answer it in a correct way, you have to check both actions. You have to check both actions, which action happened before the other action. And then you can start to answer. And don't forget to change the form of the verbs, to change the form of the verbs. Another way of questions, Choose the correct answer. Choose the correct answer. So here we have the sentence. He spaced the wallet to the man after he had found it in the street. He spaced the wallet to the man after he had found it in the street. So which, uh, which answer will be the correct one? Gave, had given, gives or is giving. Let's think, I have a linker here, which is after. I have a linker here, which is after. So, it means that I have two actions. And those actions happened in the past. Those actions happened in the past. So here, which action happened first? Which action happened first? Of course, he had found the wallet first so the answer would be gave because here this is the second action he gave the wallet to the man after he had found it in the street so here we have another sentence Sarah spaced her homework before she had her meal Sarah spaced her homework before she had her meal oh sir excuse me had is it past perfect no look carefully huh? is it past perfect no it's it's past simple because here had is the is the main verb it's the past of have and has so here this one is not past perfect don't get confused don't get confused so here had is a past form of the verb has or have so this is the second action. So this one is not past perfect. This is past simple. So here, which one is the correct answer? Is it did, had done, is doing, or does? So here, again, two actions happened in the past. One of them happened before the other one. So here, she had her meal. That, that was the second action. That was the second action. And of course, doing the homework was the first action. So here, which form can I use with the first action? Is it the past simple or past perfect? Of course, it's the past perfect. So Sarah had done her homework before she had her meal. And that was the past perfect, simple tense, together with the past simple, okay, but I want you to use it more and more. Why do we use it? We said before that we use it to express two actions that happened in the past. One of them happened before the other one. So if you are writing a story, if you are interested in writing, and you like writing different stories, of course you use past tenses to write stories or to tell stories. So the reader or someone who is listening to you, he needs to know which action happened first, which action happened before the other action. So here, start to use past perfect to, with the first actions and past simple with other actions that happened next or happened after the first action and that was the end of our lesson today 
first thank you and this is my advice to tell you never stop learning never stop learning wish you the best of luck thank you dear students see you for the next lesson thank you very much